Social media has changed our lives. For students, it can impact their schoolwork as they spend hours online and on social media. I'm going to have you guys go down the line. I want you to fill in the blank here. When I'm on social media, it makes me feel... I would say kind of nothing sometimes. Sometimes I'm just scrolling and I'm not really tuned into what I'm doing. Local high school students weigh in on the pressures they face both in school and online. Do you find yourself ever maybe comparing yourself to other people and, and their life and you know how they look and what they're posting? All of it, all of, all oh, of the time. And the positives they see on social media. You're watching KOCO5 Chronicle, Project Community, looking at the issues impacting Oklahoma's children and Oklahoma's future. And welcome back to KOCO5 Chronicle Project Community. Bullying isn't always face to face. Now, a look at the impact social media has on Oklahoma's kids. The American Academy of Pediatrics says 22% of teens admit to checking their favorite social media site more than 10 times a day. Social media has positive and negative effects. KOCO's Evan Onstott looks at the scope of the problem. Almost 75% of the teens that I see in the clinic and across the nation own a cell phone device, own a mobile device. So they are surrounded by social media. A child psychiatrist at OU Medicine says social media and digital media has changed the way we live our lives, especially for children. 30 years ago, how many four-month-olds had seen a screen? But now screens are everywhere. Social media has impacted everything from small towns to the world. Charles Tompkins with Oklahoma City Public Schools says some of the big problems with social media, cyberbullying, and online harassment. Could be anything from name calling or threatening uh, a student through a social media platform. We know that cyberbullying increases the risk of depression and suicide. It can also impact a student's social and emotional development. They are in this phase called identity formation. They are figuring out who they are. But there are good aspects of social media for kids and adults. I know many of my patients have great connections online. Parents, for example, tell me that they get a lot of parenting advice from from media, social media. Experts say some responsibility for safe social media use also falls on the parents. Never before has the parents role in how they moderate technology been more important. I encourage parents to know what their child is doing uh, with their technology. Teens really need you more than they let on. Evan Onstott, KOCO 5 News. Well, some other upsides to social media for students, of course, connecting with classmates about homework and group projects, sharing pictures and staying in touch with friends. You know, 97% of young people are on social media. Most check it several times a day. That's from a new poll. So how does that really impact our kids? I talked to four local students about living in this digital age. So first off, if I could get a show of hands, how many of you spend more than an hour on social media every day. Okay, what about two hours? <laughs> Three of you? So let's go down the line and tell me how many hours do you think that you spend on social media every day, Hunter? It's probably on the edge of two hours, like hour and 45 minutes to two hours around there. Close to an hour. Probably an hour, an hour and a half every day. I would say probably two hours but an extra hour just in the morning playing random stuff yeah yeah and so what sorts of things are you doing on social media are you talking to um, friends posting videos i have snapchat which i mainly use to text and talk to my friends and then i also have instagram and a snapchat as well that i look at memes like just jokes online <laughs> and that's that's the majority of my two hours um, and I'm also like addicted to TikTok and just watching that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty. 
What about you? I'm mainly on Instagram, and most of my time is spent promoting other things I'm in and um, boosting those up. And so most of my time is working on those and stuff for that. So when you say promoting other things, like what sorts of stuff? Um, I'm a DECA state officer. Um, I'm the vice president of leadership this year. So part of my responsibilities is keeping up with social media and keeping our members informed on what's happening with um, the state officer team or things we're doing. And then um, I also manage the broadcasting account for my school um, and we post everything for school events and stuff that's going on. So you do a lot of stuff for school but are you doing personal posts as well? Yes I do some every once in a while yeah but mostly for school. So how many pages would you guys say that you have? Do you have two, three? So we have Snapchat, Instagram, what do you, what do you think Maya or Nadia? Um, on I would say across social media mm -hmm. I'd say probably five. Which like, ones do you have? So I would say, I, so I have three on Instagram and those are for different things. Like, you know, one of them will be for drama, like, you know, my drama at school. And then two will be like, one is a fitness account. The other is my main social media account. And then I have one on Snapchat and then one on Twitter. So five across the board. Yeah. What about you? So I personally have my own Instagram account. I have a Snapchat. I do have a TikTok also. And then I do use Twitter, you know, to get involved with all the school activities, to let me know what's going on and that type of thing. Okay, I'm going to have you guys go down the line. I want you to fill in the blank here. When I'm on social media, it makes me feel... I would say kind of nothing sometimes. Sometimes I'm just scrolling and I'm not really tuned into what I'm doing. What about you, Nadia? In the know. In the know. It's a great way to connect with people. Unproductive. <laughs> <laughs> we have two unproductives and two. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. So yeah. it makes you, you feel like you're, you feel like it's, it's wasting your time. You're not alone because yeah. adults feel that way too. I mean, it's, it's yeah. not just our youth, adults, <laughs> we go through the, you know, exact same thing. Um, so you said that if you can do your homework first, try to prioritize, and maybe it's a little bit better. Do you ever feel like that you lose sleep or focus because of s social media? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you, can any of you elaborate? In, 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 100%. <laughs> so definitely sleep. So are you up late on your phone? No, but just like it's a huge distractor. If you see the thing pop up, you're like, oh, what happened? What's going on now that I'm not in the loop on or um, that I need to catch up on? So it's just a major distraction. What about in school? Do you get to use your phone in school and are you checking your pages ever in, in the classroom? Be honest. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, some of our teachers let us get on our phones after we're done with our schoolwork, mm -hmm. or some students even get on it while they're doing their schoolwork <laughs> when they aren't actually doing their schoolwork, so definitely yes. I continue the conversation with those teens coming up. We're talking about how social media has impacted their lives in good and bad ways. That's next.